Okay, so let's talk about limits and continuity. So the essential topic of limits is looking at functions, okay? So as an x value approaches a particular value, then the function approaches some limit, okay? So we could look at this using data sets. So for example, we have some sort of data where here's our x, here's our f of x. Let's say you were given 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so let's say you're going towards 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, and then you keep getting bigger again. Fourth. So as you can see, the closer I get to 4, uh, sorry, the closer I get to 4, so as x approaches 4, f of x is approaching 1 over 16. As x, as x approaches 4 from the right side, f of x is still approaching 1 over 16. So my data is getting as x approaches a particular value, my f of x approaches a certain value. Now that's for a data set. This of course also applies to graphs. So for example, if I had some graph, let's say just a graph of x squared. So here's zero, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. So we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. So at one, I'm at one, negative one, I'm at one, two, I'm at one, two, three, four, negative two, I'm at four, three, I'm at nine, negative three, I'm at positive nine. So here we go. Let's just graph f of x is equal to x squared. So this is f of x equals x squared, okay? If let's just look at the value 2, 4, okay? If I look at this function, as I approach 2 from the left side, so as I get closer and closer to 2, so as x approaches 2, you can see that my f of x is approaching If I look on it from the right side, so if I approach x from the right side, I'm going to approach 2 from the right side. Again, my f of x is approaching. So limit is essentially as x approaches some value, f of x approaches a limit. Now, how do we determine a function's limit? This is an essential question. Um, so let's go over, first of all, if a limit even exists. So how to know if a limit even exists. So, um, for a function, f of x, okay, we say that the left-hand limit is the limit as x approaches the value from the left side of f of x. The right-hand limit is written as such. So the right-hand limit is written the limit as x approaches a from the right side of f of x. Okay? So you can look at what the, as x approaches the value from the left side, what does f of x approach? 
And as x approaches the value from the right side, what does f of x approach? So these are two things you can look at, okay? So for example, okay, let's just do a graph of a function. Say this is 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6. So let's say my graph looks like this. Um, and then it looks like this. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the limit. So as x approaches 2 from the left side of f of x. As you can see, as we x approaches 2 on the left side, so here's x approaching 2, f of x is approaching 4. Right here. So 4. However, as we approach 2 from the right side, so here's x approaching 2, our f of x is right here at 0. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the right side of f of x is equal to 0. So our left-hand limit is different from our right-hand limit. So we say, so for this case, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are different. But we say that a limit exists, the limit of f of x as x approaches some value a exists if the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit. And in notation, that means that the limit as x approaches a from the left side of f of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a from the right side of f of x. Whatever that value is, that is the limit as x approaches a of f of x. So how do we go about evaluating limits, okay? So there are several methods, and we'll talk about that in a couple minutes. But first I want us to do some practice, okay? So let's just do a quick graph. Okay, um, let's say a graph that looks like this. y so negative 1 negative 2 here's 1 here's 2 here's 1 right here okay here's negative 1 right here let's say we have a graph that looks like this and let's have a function that looks like this okay. so let's write as many limit statements as we can as x approaches negative one and as x so x approaches negative one and as x approaches plus or minus infinity, okay? So here's our graph. So let's do it. So the limit as x approaches negative one from the left side. As you can see, as we approach negative one from the left side, f of x is approaching one half, negative one half, right here, okay? As we approach x, negative 1 from the right side, 
Okay, so let's approach negative 1 from the right side. f of x is getting closer to positive 1 half. Okay, let's look at the limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity. So as we go towards negative infinity, this way now, it looks like our function is getting closer and closer to zero. And then lastly, as the limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity. So as we go towards positive infinity that way, it looks like once again our function is getting closer and closer to zero as well. So these, this is just an example of how to write limit statements or determine limits using a graph. The next video will be about how to determine, about continuity and determining limits algebra.